Hey Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing? This is going to be a love reading for July 22nd to July 31st. Please check out your, your Moon, Rising, and Venus if this reading does not resonate with your Sun in Virgo. And please do reach out if you want a personal reading. All my information is in the description box. You can um, reach out by email. My address is there. And you can also um, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. All the, the script, all the um, information about my decks. I know a lot of you want to know what, what decks I use. They're all there. The links are down below. And that's it. I think I went got through it all. So please do subscribe, comment, like if you do resonate with these messages. If not, we'll check out another tower reader, guys. As simple as that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Virgo, as I'm shuffling your energy oracle here, I'm going to get one more. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you Virgos are going through some stressful times and are trying to gain some balance. Oh, that's, oh, that's way too many. Hold on, we're going to get... Oh my goodness, they just all want to come out. Let me just get one more, please. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. One more, and that one was it. Okay. Okay, so a lot of you are probably stressed. Um, now, the door to value came out, so maybe a lot of you are stressed about money. Uh, trying to gain some type of balance within a relationship here. And I feel like at this point, someone here is walking away or just, you know, trying to gain some type of peace of mind because the money is not um, coming in here. Door, door to value is what you're focusing on. So maybe you're focused more on career. So you've given up on love for some of you, not for all of you. And you're just focused on your business, on um, building your business and career when it comes to money. So Angel of Balance here is telling me you're trying to find a balance in love. However, it's been difficult. It's been a slow process. You've been caught up in your own fears and anxieties when it comes to love. So this week, maybe you'll feel it a little bit more due to, you know, some that um, Mercury retrograde that's trining Venus. A lot of issues from the past might come up. So maybe these are things also that you're dealing with about your past. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Now, let's take a look at your angel... And angel romance. Yeah, a lot of you need to trust that true love is on the way. Um, it says here that this situation is calling you to have faith. So what has caused to shake in your faith? A little bit of anxiety here because true love is around the corner. When I get this card, it means that it's not too far away. This is the romance of a lifetime. So trust that true love exists. Trust that true love is possible this week. This week, they're calling you to trust. One more, please. One more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this card keeps on coming up for everyone this week, guys. So keep an open mind. So it says, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So it might be someone that is not... Your usual type, okay? Someone, you know, and a lot of people tend to get scared because they don't, you know, they, they obviously want someone that they're attracted to. You'll be attracted to this, to this person. It's just someone that you you probably counted out uh, in your mind, maybe someone you've known, but someone that you normally wouldn't be so attracted to in the past, but now things have shifted, things have changed, okay? So they're asking all of us to keep an open mind, Let's get one more, please, for Virgo. Yes, you will have chemistry. Yeah, they really wanted me to confirm this because some of you will be freaking out. So, yes, there will be chemistry, okay, between you two, obviously. There will be a strong magnetic attraction for the ones who are wondering, but what about if they're not my type? They'll, they'll be your type once you start feeling the connection. But at first, uh, it won't be that usual type that you're used to right because we have this type as we go along in life that we tend to focus on and maybe it's it's that time where we need to change our our expectations and our standards 
but not to worry this person will um you will share a strong bond with okay so what is the overall energy okay so here we're talking about new beginnings when it comes to love so releasing the past whatever that caused you anxiety it's all about these new beginnings with that ace of wands you can be dealing with a fire sign yeah maybe you could be dealing with the leo strength finding the strength to start over again that's what i'm that's what i'm hearing give me one more card for the overall energy yeah finding the strength to overcome these fears these anxieties that come with the moon right so we we went through two major eclipses one was a lunar eclipse one was a uh solar eclipse that brought on a lot of you know realizations and shook our faith in a, in a sense our you know about our foundations uh where we come from it brings in a lot of uncertainty insecurities and it's there for that it's it the eclipses are there to make changes and to remove what no longer serves us so maybe that's a thought pattern maybe that's a behavioral pattern maybe that's someone in your situation in your home or in your life that you're currently hanging on to so it's going to be different for everybody but there's something here that needs to shift and it's going to take some inner strength to start over again. So let's go along with the next tarot deck and see what's coming towards you. Lib uh, Libra. Oh my God, there might be a Libra coming towards you. Um, what is coming towards you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Who and what? What are the energies coming towards you this week? Okay, the wheel will continue turning wow wow okay now maybe now i see that there's a three of swords so there might have been some disappointment with that three of swords with the person that is going to walk into your life so i'm asking spirit what is coming towards you what energy is coming towards you and this is amazing wheel of fortune the wheel will continue to turn this is success this is movement okay these are things you know what goes around comes around it's going it's going to continue turning in your favor and it's it will be in your favor look this is six of wands this is public recognition this is someone seeing you for 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 you know what you bring to the table this is um someone who has a lot of fans someone who is being watched but someone who is really admired and recognized for who they are I mean, this is all success. This screams success. And success in what? Well, the lovers could be a Gemini, but can be someone who uh, has, you know, with whom you share a strong magnetic bond with, you know? This is a strong, a strong connection, a strong soulmate connection. Very intense connection. Now, this person might, must, might have been heartbroken in the past. Let's take a look at their energy. So the person that's coming through for Virgo... Yeah, they're, they're coming in strong. I mean, this may be someone whom you met online because this is uh, communication. This is um, communication overseas. Okay, this can also be travel. You might have met someone uh, traveling. What else do we want to know, please? What else do we need to know, please, for the energy that's coming toward Virgo, the person energy coming towards Virgo? Yeah, strength again could be a Leo, guys. Is a Leo walking into your life? But again, this person is going to see your strength, I believe. It's going to take a lot of strength to move forward here. Yeah, Knight of Cups. That's amazing. So there is going to be a love offer here. I mean, time is an illusion and energy is fluid. And I think if it's not this week, well, it's very, very soon because we have that Knight of Cups, which is a wish it's our wish fulfillment we are completely fulfilled with this type of offer so this is the beginning of a i think a great story here yeah knight of wands it can be impulsive at the beginning so we need to be careful with this type of energy you see celebrations going out socializing how having fun this is the energy of leo season which is fantastic we are having the courage to start over again uh, having the courage to be ourselves in an unapologetic way having the courage to face our demons to face our fears to face our subconscious anxieties and thoughts about the past 
I think this is great. And I think you've walked away from something that was probably causing you a lot of anxiety. Yeah, sleepless nights. And I think this is the best thing. Look, you're getting clarity. You're getting truth now. Walking into this new world. Commitment with the Hierophant. You can be meeting a Taurus as well. Now, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the signs that you get. Because this is all... A spirit trying to guide you in the right direction because someone here is obviously going to offer you something eventually. I mean, these are a lot of positive cards here on the table. So let's get some oracle, some lover's oracle for my Virgo, please. Hmm. You know what? Leo got the same card here. Same cards, I believe. Interesting. Only time will tell, guys. All right, timing. Leo got the same card, so you might be dealing with a Leo with how many strength cards there are here. So freedom, freedom says, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Oh yeah, this is how I feel. The path is clear. I mean, starting it off with an energy like this that's coming towards you and six of wands and two and lovers, that's amazing. But you see here, friendship Leo, if you watch your uh, the Leo video, they got the same card. It says, nurture the bond, the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So for some of you, friendship is something that needs to be uh, your solid foundation. You know, we start the relationship by being friends, by trusting each other, by opening up that communication line. And only time will tell, guys, if this will bring you the joy and happiness that you want and deserve. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked this video, please do uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Reach out for a personal reading if you want some more insight. And you can follow me on all the social media. Just click down below and you'll have all the information about the cards as well and about how to reach me. Have a great week, Virgo. Please take care.